Hey guys, Cinea V here. So today we're going to be playing four mini games. Now I'm just going to jump straight into everything. The first game that we've got here is like a colour perception game. And basically it's just going to tell me, one, how bad my eyesight is, two, how bad my reactions are, and three, how bad my eyesight is. So let's go. Well, that was easy. Let's go. Come on guys. Right. Go. 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 Ah! Go. 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 Um. Oh my god. Okay, so this gets really hard. That one? That one. Ah, I'm getting this thing where all the coloured dots appear within the coloured squares, like in these little bits here. That one? Oh my god. That one. Okay, I'm actually physically blind. That one? Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. That one? That one. Ah, oh, we've got four seconds left. Two, one, zero. Now tell me how bad I did. 21. Is that good or is that bad? I think we can try this again. Let's see whether we can beat it this time. Play again. It's actually a lot harder when you're sat here looking at it. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. Okay, I'm lost, that one. Uh, there. Once this square gets to this size, you literally lose your mind. Like, I don't understand. And then it gets even worse. Like, these little ones are ridiculous. You guys are probably sat there screaming at me, going, it's there, it's there, it's there. I'm not that quick. Oh, God. Okay, I'm lost. Um... Right, come on, we've got 13 seconds. Why can I not find this square? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, literally, I couldn't see it. Well, we beat our last score. You know what, let's go best out of three, kind of. Let's see what happens on the third go. Right, gotta be quick, gotta be quick. I don't really know what happens when you press the wrong square. I don't really want to find out. Oh, wow. Oh, God, that is blinding. This is when life becomes a lot more difficult. It's not too bad with the really bright colours. For example, this one. I can't physically see it. That one. It kind of, with some of them, it's really kind of bam in your face. No, I've lost it on this one again. Let's go that one. Oh, I got it right. 29! Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. Third time, you know, third time lucky kind of thing. Man, that's actually really hard. What I'll do with all these games, I will leave links down in the description below. So if you want to have a go, if you want to try and beat my score, go for it. Tweet at me if you beat them. And yeah, god, that was actually really hard. Right, so we're moving on to the next game that I found. It's called Murder. Now the aim of the game, it's kind of, it's like that game that you used to play when you were kids in the playground. I can't remember what it's called, but you have one person at the end of the playground who has to look the other way and the people behind have got to reach them without them turning around and seeing them move. Let's have a go. So Murder, press the space to charge a stab at the right time. We have to charge our stab to be able to stab the king. But if he turns around and sees us, we're in the shitter. So let's give it a go. So let's just go for it straight away. Let's just bloody go for it. Ah! Oh, okay. Well, that was a bit of a fail. Let's try again. Right, so he's sneaking up, charging a stab. Go! <gasps> oh, that was so close. Okay, I think we might have to try and Oh no! Okay, so you literally have to get the bar right to the end without the king turning around and seeing you. Go! Yes! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about the fact that I just killed someone. Oh, I don't... Oh, what do I have to do now? Okay, well we were put to die. What is this? Who am I now? Did I get him? No, what? Okay, now I'm really confused. Oh, okay, okay, the bar's gone back down again. We're terrible at this game, absolutely terrible. 
Oh, that was so close. Surely the king gives some indication of turning... Oh. Turning round. Oh, this is actually really hard. Oh. Come on, look how many times I've died. Look how many skeletons have just like piled up in the cellar. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do it this time, we can do it this time. Yes! Yay! <laughs> I like the fact that they're all wearing like heart pants. Why do these people look the same? Why did he stop? Come on, we'll make this guy king and then we can move on to the next guy. Ah, oh, shh. Oh, he's up. <laughs> Poop. He's going to turn around. A. Hey. Go on. Go on. Yes. Okay. We got there. We did a few. That's not too bad. So you kind of get the gist of it. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. And basically there's a new guy each time that you've basically got to murder the king. Right, so moving on to the next game, this one's called Monologue and like it says in the description there, you are the baddest villain in the West. Again you have caught your ar arch nemesis. Deliver the final monologue before they escape. So basically it's like a speed typing game. Now my typing skills are not the best, so I have no idea how this is going to work. I do want to apologise firstly if you can hear me mashing my keyboard. Play. Oh, oh my god, at last! Exclamation mark. Ah! Now that... Oh no! I... Oh no! Oh this is horrible. Basically, I can't type. And it doesn't help that I can't spell very well either, so... Oh, poo. I'm gonna take it really slow. Root, rootin tootin bandit. Oh no! Balls. Told you I'm not the best. Oh god, it changes each time. I never really have learnt to type without looking on a Mac keyboard. It's ever so slightly different to the ones that we used to use as kids. Ah. And couple of the things are like in different places especially with like the exclamation marks and like all the punctuation points and stuff it's quite hard to pick up the knack of typing with this and the fact that being on twitter a lot i don't use like in can't i don't use the little apostrophe so for me it's just so much quicker to just not do it the thing on the screen that's like moving up and down, is that his legs? Is that his arms? This is really annoying me. I really want to finish this. I really want to finish this. I can't help it when they use words like dang nabbit. Like who uses that in nowadays terms? Oh dang nabbit. <laughs> once more, once more. Ah ha 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 ha. That's annoying. Now that I, the, oh it's this one again. Ah, it changed it a little bit. No, I spelt no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I give up. I'm I'm terrible. I'm so bad. I'd be the worst kidnapper ever. Clearly, from what this game is telling me. Right, fourth and final game. Now this one is pretty simple. Basically, you have to click on a circle to try and trap the cat. But when you click the cat involuntarily moves in a certain direction. You don't know what direction that cat's gonna move in. So the aim of the game is to basically trap him in like a circle or within this block. So let's see how we do. So you'll see when I click it, yeah, so he moves that way. Now he's gone that way. No, no, kitty. Ah, oh. so you've, oh, you've basically got to judge which way the cat's gonna go. This is actually really horrible to play. Right, let's trap him. No, don't you dare. Ah, stupid cat. Right, come on. So let's make you go that way. No, 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 no. No, why are you going that way? No, no, kitty. 
Oh, for God's sake. This is the kind of game that I would sit for hours and just be so determined to try and not let this cat escape. No. Oh, I thought I would have had him then. The blocks that are already marked out, like, or marked out, are not helping whatsoever. Maybe it is impossible. Oh, I've done it. Have I done it? Let's see what happens when we do this. So I apologise if you can hear my mouse like constantly clicking in the background. I uh, just got these ones in here. Yay! So he, yeah. So you've literally got to dot out all the all the all the circles so the cat can't escape. I'm glad we finally got there in the end. But that is literally it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. What I'll do, like I said at the beginning, I will leave links to all these games down in the description below. So if you fancy yourself a go at any of these, if you want to try and beat any of my scores then go ahead. I'd love to see how well you guys do at these. Please leave a like and a comment on today's video, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!